Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad geometry problem. So we have a nice quadrilateral literal in which its length of sides are 156, 65, 195 and 182. So now here our target is to find the area of this uh, quadrilateral. literal. So uh, if we have this is the our right uh, angle. Okay, so now here, uh, if you focus on each of these uh, uh, side length of this quadrilateral, uh, each of these side length is divisible by 13. Okay, uh, so it means that uh, when uh, we divide uh, its side length by 13, it will be written as uh, if you divide 156 by 13, then uh, this will be equals to 12 when we divide this 65 by 13 and this will be equals to 5 and when we divide 195 by 13 then uh, this will be gives us 15 similarly when we divide 182 by 15 so it is uh, equals to 40 okay it means that uh, now we first simplify uh, each uh, the value of all the sides length uh, so we uh, write it into the lowest form so uh, this is 12 5 15 and 14 and now we move towards to find uh, the area of uh, this right uh, the area of this quadrilateral now you see here we join uh, these two points then after joining these two points our quadrilateral will be divided into the two triangles so we have this is uh, one triangle this is the first triangle and this is the our second triangle so uh, here uh, if we call this point is a b c and d e. so this is the a b c d b the our uh, quadrilateral so now in order to find the area of the quadrilateral a b c d we need to find the area of a triangle a b c and area of triangle a c d okay so here our target uh, is to find the area of uh, uh, quadrilateral a b c d equals to area of tr right triangle a b c plus area of uh, uh, triangle a c d here we need to find uh, these two areas of the above triangles okay and after that we the sum these areas and we get the area of required quadrilateral okay so now here mm, you see that First, we focus on triangle ABC. So, in this triangle, we have uh, if this is the any unknown angle, so uh, it means that the side opposite to the 90 angle is called the hypotenuse. The side we join these two angles is called base, and this side is called the perpendicular or altitude side of this right triangle. So, now here we need to find first the value of hypotenuse because here we are given that per, uh, perpendicular and base or uh, we are given that these two values so using these two values we get the value of hypotenuse so here we apply the pythagoras theorem so uh, we call this is equation number one so we apply the pythagoras theorem and pythagoras theorem is stated as hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square so if you see in the diagram we have the value of hypotenuse is uh, we just find here and the value of base is uh, uh, 12 square and the value of perpendicular or altitude is 5 square okay so now we need to simplify the term so we see that 12 square equals to 144 and 5 square equals to 25 and 144 plus 25 equals to 169 this is the value of h square so here we get the value of h is equals to 13 okay so now we substitute this value here so this value of h becomes 13 so here you are given that uh, the three sides uh, length of this right triangle so now here first we find the uh, area of uh, triangle abc we know that the formula of area of triangle is that half times of uh, uh, base multiplied by height so now you see that uh, in a right triangle abc the base is 12 and its height is 5 uh, so we just write it here 1 over 2 times of base is 12 and height is 5 
so you see that two six are 12 and six fives are 30. so now here we first find the area of triangle abc is equals to 30. okay so now we move towards uh, the second triangle so uh, because this triangle is not the right triangle uh, so uh, but we are given that uh, all of the sides length are given so here we use the hero's formula to find the area of this triangle so uh, you very well know about the uh, hero's formula okay so the hero's uh, formula is just stated as uh, area of uh, triangle a c d is equals to square root of uh, s into s minus a and s minus b into s minus c and its whole square root and we know about s so s is the parameter of the uh, uh, triangle a c d so its parameter are a plus b plus c divided by 2 so we call this is our equation number two so here first we need to find the value of s so now if you focus on uh, the uh, triangle a c d so here uh, we call uh, this is the value of a this is the value of b and this is our c so here you have a is 13 b is 15 and c is 14 so now we substitute the values of uh, a b and c here and you get the value of s so the value of a is 13 and the value of b is 15 the value of c is 14 and it is divided by 2 so if we add these three numbers then it is equals to 42 over 2 and we cancel this term and you get 2 times of 2 4 and 2 ones are 2 so here you get the value of s is equals to 21 and now we substitute the value of s and abc in this formula and we easily get the area of triangle acd so now here our equation number two is implies that area of triangle acd equals to square root of s and the value of s is 21 and 21 minus the value of a is 13 into 21 minus 15 into 21 minus 14 uh, so here we need to simplify the terms and we easily get the area of this triangle uh, acd so here you see that uh, when we subtract these values it will be written as 21 into 21 minus 13 equals to 8 and 21 minus 15 equals to 6 and 21 minus 14 equals to 7. So when we multiply all of these numbers then we will get here 7056. So when we take the square root of this number then we get the area of uh, triangle ACD equals to 84 okay so now we get uh, the area of both of the given uh, triangles uh, so you see here we have the area of this triangle is 30 and the area of this triangle is 84 uh, and now we uh, move towards in uh, this uh, equation number one so we know we find the area of triangle abc is 30 and plus area of triangle ACD is 84. So now in order to find the area of this quadrilateral ABCD, so we need to add uh, 84 plus 30. Okay. Uh, so uh, when you add um, 84 plus 30, then we will obtain here 114. So 114 be the area of uh, the quadrilateral a b c and d and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos